It's only game. Why you have to be mad? I want to talk a little bit about the new Maestro boss fight and why I think that Augustus is the key hero for this fight. So if we take a look at Ash in the Eternal Keeper City of Asgard version of the fight, the fight that we just had this past weekend, we all know now that there is a couple of really, really strong teams that are doing very well against Osh in the city of Asgard. We have the standard LOL Osh team using, you know, Isaac, Ju, Sebastian, Nebula, Martha, Albus. We have the variant with Lara Croft. And we also have the incredible Cornelius version. And I say incredible because it's literally unbelievable. Go look up the definition of incredible and you will see that that is something that is unbelievable or impossible. Cornelius has a big single target hit, hits the enemy with the highest intelligence with the monolith with physical damage. The idea behind the billion damage teams for the city of Asgard Osh fight with Cornelius is requires a critical hit, okay? A critical hit causes a ton of damage on top of the damage that he's already doing because, you know, let's face it, Osh is a smart dude, right? He's got a lot of intelligence. The bonus pure damage that Sebastian provides whenever an ally critical hits is massive. And then of course we have the uh, the pet Albus that just tacks on a ton of bonus pure damage uh, based on the amount of damage done within a three second window. We all know how, uh, roughly we all understand how that event works, okay? Uh, yeah, takes three character charge and gains bonus damage. So it deals 200% damage dealt by allies while breath of uh, the ancients is charging. So we're not doing the bonus damage from the critical hit. We're doing the bonus damage from the pure damage that Sebastian adds onto the critical hit from Cornelius. And we know, we know having already fought Maestro once, we know that LOL Osh does okay, right? It does okay. But the whole point, the whole point of that strategy is that Isaac's uh, armor penetration gets high enough that Cornelius can completely negate the armor of Osh the Eternal Keeper. By the way, he has 168,000 honor, 170,000 if we round up. So you stack, you stack Isaac's armor penetration, you hope for a lucky crit from Cornelius, boosted by Jed or whoever, Sebastian. You get the bonus pure damage from Sebastian to add that extra pure damage. That extra pure damage is then added into Albus's uh, breath weapon, and then Boom, billion, do uh, billion dollar, billion damage hits against Osh in the city of Asgard. So, you know, that got me thinking a little bit about the strategy here. You can't really stack armor penetration the same way on this boss that you can with Isaac versus Osh, okay? But you don't actually need to. You don't actually need to too much, okay? First of all, let's take a another look at this. I've been told that Maestro has the same stats as Osh. That might not be correct, but until we have better information, or if somebody has that information, you wanna send me a Discord ping, I would love to share that with you and give you a shout out. Uh, until we have that information, let's make the assumption, probably a flawed assumption, that the stats are exactly the same, all right? We could probably go back and look at health of the level 65 versus the level 65 Osh and try to figure that out for ourselves. But be that as it may, we have a magic defense of 156,574. We have heroes, that provide magic penetration, okay? Taking a look at the uh, the Hero Arachne with maxed magic penetration, just so that we're all on the same page, is 50,000, 50,000 magic penetration, and we have magic defense of 156,000. So you would need three ults from a magic penetration artifact to knock that magic defense down to zero, or at least low enough that all of the magic damage done to Maestro comes through as pure damage, okay? But we now know one of the really cool abilities is superconductivity. This will over time decrease the opponent's magic defense and it will keep stacking presumably forever. We don't know that. We don't know how big it stacks. It says that the duration is six seconds. Okay, so it lasts for six seconds and it's continually refreshed and it can stack multiple times. There is no stated max charges. So theoretically, this could stack forever. If a fight went on long enough, you could theoretically use this Violet ability from Augustus to lower the magic defense of an opponent to zero. So do we need to stack three armor penetration ults in a row 
to get, I should say, magic penetration artifact weapons in a row to get uh, Maestro's magic defense to zero. And for that matter, what about Osh? Why not use Augustus against Osh? No, we don't have to. We only need about 20 attacks. So it's about it's about 4K, okay? It's about 4,000 magic defense reduction. Osh's total magic defense is 156,000. We get a magic penetration artifact that drops his magic defense, Maestro's magic defense, to about 100k. 100k divided by 4 roughly is 25 attacks. So we get roughly 20 to 25 attacks in there. Maybe two magic penetration artifacts. And all of a sudden, all of Gus's magic damage and everybody's magic damage, Orion, Satori, Mojo, uh, everybody's magic damage is coming through as pure damage. The way that this ability works, superconductivity, if the target has superconductivity as a debuff, and the magic penetration exceeds the opponent's magic defense, then all magic damage is converted to pure damage. So all of that magic damage, including Lightning Rod, which is a huge, massive single target hit, massive, about 396,000, about 400K damage. That's all converted to pure damage on top of the basic attacks, to talk, on top of the other attacks that all of the uh, uh, allied mages are dealing. So here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. You stack some magic penetration artifacts, one, maybe two. You deal enough stacks of super, I mean, you apply enough stacks of superconductivity. You start Albus. It takes three seconds for Albus to use his ability. During that three second window, you hit him with Lightning Rod from Augustus. You hit him, for, you hit him with um, uh, Arachne's ult. You hit him with Orion's ult. You hit him with Satori's ult. You hit him with Heidi's ult. You hit him with all of these magic damage and pure damage. Uh, pure damage ults and magic damage that's computed to pure, uh, converted to pure damage. And then Albus does his big breath weapon that's double or whatever it is, the uh, the amount of damage that you dealt in that window. Now, it might not be a billion damage, but I'm thinking it's probably going to be a lot. And I think that somehow, some way, Augustus is going to be the hero to level for Maestro. I don't know the other pieces yet. Obviously, we need healers. Obviously, we need some kind of tank. I'm thinking that superconductivity is uh, going to remove the weaken effect. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking superconductivity is going to be a debuff that is going to remove the weaken effect from the harp. So all we really need to do is keep him from being stunned. And it only really stuns the front three heroes if you have Augustus far enough back. And I think that um, I think that it's possible that it ends up being a strong team to use in the City of Asgard Osh fight as well. So what are the other heroes that we can add to Gus to be successful in this Maestro fight? At least one magic penetration artifact hero. Own over all of those in a previous video. But uh, anybody that does magic penetration artifact weapon, uh, it doesn't need to be stacked to a certain point. The artifact weapon doesn't need to be stopped leveling at a certain point, like everybody claims you have to do with Isaac, which, by the way, you don't. And uh, then you can figure out the timing. That's still left to be discovered. We have to figure out the best healer, the best tank, the best supports. All of that still needs to be discovered. I think there might be some overlap between Osh and Maestro, by the way. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So 2025, you're going to need to level a Gust team, and you're going to need to level an Isaac team. Cornelius team, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He's midline. Let's see where he stands in relation to the other LOL Osh. Does he stand? Okay, so he stands in front of Martha. Yeah, yeah, he stands pretty far back. Yeah, I think uh, I think Gus my, uh, Gus Orion might be what a lot of people are going to try. Celeste, I can see that, John. I can see that. Aiden, Augustus, Morgan, Arachne, Corvus in manual play. Greg K with the first full team. That's great news for me because I have basically all of those heroes maxed with the exception of Gus. Don't need a classic tank for Maestro. I agree. I agree. So that's my plan. My plan is to figure out or try and help to figure out the best team to use against Maestro with Gus. And that Corvus Morgan team sounds just as good as any. How much magic penetration? Max stats for the new hero are as follows. Let's see, 24K magic penetration, uh, 125, almost 126,000 magic attack, 18,000, almost 19,000 intelligence, 24 and a half magic, uh, magic defense, 25,000 armor. I'm pretty sure this is fully ascended also. I don't know that it is, but I'm pretty sure it's fully ascended. I'm pretty sure. 